Hello, Justice Good here, and today I'm going to show you how to add smoke to this cigarette or any other object that you want to make smoke come out of. So, my picture came in black and white, but if yours isn't, you can go to Image Adjustments Desaturate because this effect works best when we use black and white. Now, I found this stock image of smoke on a stock image website called Stock Exchange. You can find this on any image search by searching smoke and you'll get lots of results similar to this. Now when I drag the picture onto this layer it's pretty big so I'm going to hit command T to transform and while holding shift to constrain proportions I'm going to drag it inward to make it smaller. If you want to know how I zoomed out like that it's option and scroll. Now let's get back to 100% and I notice that the tail of the smoke is pointing in the opposite direction. So what I want to do is go to edit, transform, flip horizontal. Now the tail of the smoke is matching more well with the cigarette. But it's still a little off so I'm going to go to command T to transform again. Go a little bit outside of the corner and rotate it while holding shift or not while holding shift actually. You can rotate this without holding shift. Once you get it lined up better, that looks about good, we want to take care of these edges here. These edges do not blend well. So grab an eraser at about 300 pixels or whatever size works best with your canvas at zero hardness and start erasing the edges to make them blend. This way we have no apparent stop to our image. Now don't worry about all this black because we're going to set this on the blending mode screen and it's going to disappear. So blending mode, screen, and all the black disappears. Now take care of any other details. Right now I want to erase the area on his face because it's just making the image look unreal and that looks about right but we still want to take care of this this uh, wisp of smoke coming directly out of the cigarette so I'm going to create a selection with my rectangular marquee and I'm going to feather it right click feather about 15 now I'm going to go to edit transform warp and you get this grid here you can pinch and drag any of these corners or boxes in whatever way you'd like so what I want to do is make the very tail of the smoke thinner and more formed to the cigarette so it doesn't look so big. Now you can drag all these corners out and learn the warp tool. It's a really useful tool. And even if you don't want to blend smoke, this is a way that you can blend fire and all other types of images with the warp tool. As you can see, I have blended it into the end of the cigarette a bit better, but there's a part that overlays the cigarette that had an edge on it. So I'm going to grab my blur tool and blur it. And after that I'm going to grab my eraser tool on a very soft amount and just erase the tip of the cigarette. Now you gotta understand, the more compatible your two images are, such as the smoke and the person, the less work you have to do like I just did. But let's lower the opacity of the smoke layer a tiny bit because it's looking a bit strong right now. At about 50% to 60% looks good for me. You can use a different opacity that works for your image. But this has lowered the opacity of the tail of the smoke too much. So I'm going to create a circular selection over this smoke, feather it about 20 pixels and layer the yeah, copy. This way I get a stronger opacity without adjusting the rest of the smoke because I want this to stand out. So as you can see it's a little bit thicker now. As a finishing touch I'm gonna make it look like the cigarette is lit and inhaling. So on a new layer I'm going to grab my brush tool on an orangish red color and start 
softly brushing in the cigarette part. The brush size is about 15 for me and has 0% hardness. Now set the blending mode of this layer to screen. To further blend it, we are going to grab the eraser tool at about 100 pixels at zero hardness and tap around the outsides of the layer. And there you go. Just remember that the more compatible your two original images are to start with, the less work you are going to have to do to create a good final image. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe for more and check out these previous tutorials. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.